Hello everyone, myself Anurag Mandal, Assistant Professor of EC Department. Today, I will introduce one of the most important subject of second year third sem, that is EC305 network analysis. In this particular session, I will show you how the network analysis concepts are important in day-to-day -day life. Then I will show you what are the subjects are related with the concept of network analysis. Then we are moving towards the syllabus of the network analysis that we are going to study in our series of network analysis. Next, at the end, we are going for the reference books of the, this subject. So let's move on. First question that we have in our mind, why the network analysis is important and what is its application? If we talk about the application, first I will show you a typical circuitry. This typical circuitry is nothing but a circuitry for the charger. But whenever this particular circuitry I will sh I just show it shown you then and then some questions may arise in your mind. Maybe the question is why this resistance are and are and this capacitor are in the parallel connection. Maybe the question is why the capacitor having this much of value and why only this much of value capacitor is added over here why not different values third question may arise this why this four diode are connected like this why not connected in the different way and fourth question may arise why diode is why ground is needed over here so the answer of all the questions are lie within a simple answer that is the concept of network analysis. So if you know the concept of network analysis, you are able to solve each and every doubt that comes in our mind within the circuitry. So it is important in the day to day life or we can say in the every circuit concept. So if this particular circuitry is totally depend upon the network analysis concept, then we can say the most important need of network analysis that is the projects. And if we talk about the projects, projects means the day to day life application. So in the other way, we can say in day to day life, each and every application is needed or based on the concept of network analysis so it is the most important subject we are going to study in the total electronics department and if i talk about that why the network analysis is important for the other subjects so we can say that network analysis is important because with the help of this network analysis we move towards a particular circuitry that particular subject that is the electronic device and circuitry in this particular subject we are no we are able we are familiar with the electronic devices and its connection and also we know about the, the electronic devices inputs whether that particular device is working on the base of current or whether that particular device is based on the voltage input and how that current or voltage input is provided to that particular electronic devices for that we need to know the concept of network analysis second we can say the communication Obviously, ECE department means electronics and communication. So communication also is also important. But if we talk about the communication, communication is related with the transmission of signal. Now, whenever the transmission word come, then and then other two words 
may come in our mind that is the transmitter and receiver and if we look towards the transmitter and receiver all are based on the circuitry in the transmitter and receiver main thing is our frequency of the signal and if we want to change the frequency of the signal the only thing we just change that is the change in the circuitry means if we change in the circuitry component or value of the circuitry component then only the signal frequency change and that signal frequency is totally depend upon or totally the basic thing of the communication so communication is the most important part and it is also depend upon the concept of the network analysis because we need to know that how much uh, for how much frequency signal transmission how much component value is required so for that component value the network analysis concept is very much important third thing instrumentation if we talk about the instrumentation instrumentation is nothing but the again the day to day life application instrumentation means sensors transducer what is sensor and transducer if we talk about the measurement of parameters like temperature pressure level that are important in the process industries they are the sensor and from the sensor we just get a output how to process that output with the help of circuitry that is the most important thing and that particular important thing is done or based on the concept of the network analysis if we don't know the network analysis concept we doesn't modify that output we doesn't transmit that output we doesn't uh change the output according to our application so that is why the network analysis is important and network analyze if you know the network analysis then easily you can go through the subject that is electronics device and circuit then communication then instrumentation let's move on to the next slide so what we are going to learn in this particular series of lectures so in this particular series of lecture we are going to learn in the first unit that is the basic component that is the rnc and its characteristics its time dependent nature then we talked about the voltage and the current source then controlled and uncontrolled sources then starts with the basic laws that is the kcl kvl and its analysis then sinusoidal analysis is also important because we are living in a world where sinusoidal inputs or sinusoidal signals are mostly used then if we talk about the sinusoidal analysis then automatically the phasor and the vectors come then the next step of the theorem that is the nodal and mesh analysis we talked about in this nodal and mesh analysis this two theorems are basically come from the kcl and kvl then we talk about the magnetic magnetically coupled circuits that means uh, for an example the transformer again that is a magnetic magnetic magnetically coupled circuit there are coupling coefficient also there and series and parallel resonance of a particular circuitry on the basis of resonance the total impedance is dependent and impedance is the most important thing in the circuitry because we need to match the impedance if we doesn't match the input impedance then a particular device doesn't work so the important parts very important parts and the concept we are going to learn in the first unit 
next comes to the second unit where we learn about the graph theory of the network this particular unit is based on the um representation of network mainly how the network or a circuitry we can represent in a simple way that is we are going to learn in the second unit at the end we are in the third unit we are moved towards the networks theorems in this networks theorem we are going to learn about the Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, superposition, reciprocity, then substitution, compensation, maximum power, Milman's theorem, Tellingen's theorem. Why these theorems are important? Uh, in this particular session, in the first slide, I will show you a complicated circuitry. Okay. Now, to simplify that complicated circuitry, we need this type of theorems these theorems okay so these theorems are most important part in the network analysis where we can solve a most complicated circuitry and convert it into a simple one next in the fourth unit we are talked about the transient analysis transient in rl rc and rlc circuitry now transient analysis uh, uh, if we talk about the inductor capacitor everyone knows that inductor or capacitor are basically not used for the dc sources they are only used uh, where the ac sources are there but if the inductor and capacitor is discharge initially means there is no magnetic magnetic magnetically uh, built um, voltage or there is no charge uh, across the capacitor then if i connect that particular circuitry with a dc source then and then some instant changes are arrived or arise within the circuitry we need to know that instant change because if we know that instant change then only we can visualize the behavior of the circuitry and that behavior is most important for the communication purpose and that particular analysis that is called the transient analysis so it is important to know the behavior next steady state analysis and laplace transformation uh, everyone knows that whenever the circuitry consists of the r l and c then and then the uh, then and then and if we are going to solve that particular circuitry mathematically then and then the differential equation comes okay now to solve that differential equation, everyone knows that uh, that is a very tedious work, time consuming work, very lengthy process. To minimize that particular uh, time, we need to go for the Laplace transformation. So Laplace transformation is a mathematical tool to solve the complicated equation into easy one. So Laplace transformation is also important for the solution of the integral and differential equation. Next, we have talked about the initial and the final value theorems. And at the end, unit five, we are talk about the two port parameters. These parameters, again, the representation of the circuit we have a complicated circuitry but we need to know we need to analyze that complicated circuitry into simple box in that simple box we have the circuitry but we assume that we have the simple box and in the simple box we have the two port one is input port another is the output port 
and we can easily solve any kind of parameters with the help of that simplified representation of the circuit so this is all about the syllabus what we are going to study in this total series of the network analysis then at the end these are the important and the references book the first one that is the vulcan bath is the most important book in the total network analysis conceptual and the mother of all the books next the the second book is based on the numerical analysis mainly uh, means you got the various numerical examples or the various practical um, practice examples in this books and other books says books are required and i will tell you i will uh, tell you whenever that books are required so that's all about today and this is the introduction of the particular subject that is the network analysis so network analysis simply says that it is the most important subject in the ec department if you know the network analysis concept then every subject basic concept are clear for you you can just simplify any type of complicated network or any type of uh, uh, and the working of that complicated network by only seeing that network you don't have to solve the numerically you just seen the complicated network and you can solve it you can you, you are able to know what is the output of that particular network what is the in, uh, what is the behavior of that particular network okay so that's all about today thank you